Today is September 14th, the Feast of the Holy Cross. This day is dedicated to the celebration of the banner of the Christian faith and the great symbol of our redemption, the Cross of Christ. Yet the origins of this celebration and its placement in the calendar have little to do with any biblical account, but rather events in the establishment of Christianity as the imperial religion of Rome. After having legalized Christianity, Emperor Constantine desired to build a great monument to the faith in the holy city of Jerusalem. The problem was, however, that the Romans had destroyed the city that Jesus had known in AD 70, completely razing it and building the thoroughly Roman city of Aelia Capitolina on top of the ruins. Major excavations were required to find the Mount of Calvary and the place of Jesus' burial, the location where Constantine desired to construct his imperial complex. The work of finding, restoring, and enshrining these sites was given to Empress Helena, Constantine's mother. As the location believed to be the site of the crucifixion was being excavated, a relic was found and proclaimed by Helena to be the true cross. The great shrine which Constantine had constructed at this site consisted of two buildings, one for the Liturgy of the Word and another for the Liturgy of the Sacrament. The top of Calvary was left exposed between the two buildings, and there each year on Good Friday the supposed true cross was venerated. Constantine's great basilica was dedicated on this day in AD 335 because he believed it corresponded to the dedication of Solomon's temple. The Church has since then marked this day as the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. It is of course doubtful that what Helena found was the actual wood on which Christ died. It is nevertheless very fitting and appropriate to set aside a day to thank God for that symbol of suffering and shame that is now the glory of His Kingdom, the Most Holy Cross. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross that he might draw the whole world to himself, mercifully grant that we, who glory in the mystery of our redemption, may have grace to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen.